tears from the ladies and the women in the house when the men talked about doing dishes. <laughs> so it's interesting. Do we want men to do more home chores or provide? I'll let the answers be in the sermon that you'll hear today. Praise the Lord. But there is wisdom in the house of God. Why? Because this is where the father of all fathers live. Let's celebrate Jesus. <laughs> there, there are a few more announcements. Um, let's not forget Lighthouse continues this Wednesday. And there will be one somewhere close by where you live. If you want to know which Lighthouse is close to you, please visit the church website www.jesushouse.org jesushousedc.org or call the church office. There will be workers meeting this week, Friday, on the 23rd at 8 p.m. That was postponed from last Friday, let's not forget, because of, of the North American Convention that took place in Dallas. So it will be this week. So please, all workers, it is mandatory that we attend. This is the end of the first half of the year. Let us come together to learn how to better serve the Lord. The Jesus House Annual Mini Olympic, will um, the, the, that continues as being planned by the Gideon men. And let's not forget the following dates. Uh, July 8, 2017, a swimming meet to hold at only indoor swimming center at 2 p.m. On Saturday, July the 22nd, uh, there will be a grand finale of the Mini Olympics that will take place at Paint Branch High School at 12 noon. There will be activities such as soccer matches, etc., etc. Please, let's come out. If you want more information, we can reach out to Dickens Sam Oyeloye at uh, 850-210 and 5933 or uh, Stetosi Olu Okun at uh, 240-565-7262. If you don't remember all those numbers, please visit the church website for details. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. How many of you are excited to be in the house of God today? How many of you are excited to be in the presence of the Most High God? How many are excited to be in the house of God? It looks like just a few people. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. We have a number of things uh, in, in this service today, so please let's not forget that it's going to be a ch uh, we have children dedication afterwards, and we'll have a number of Thanksgiving. And uh, they've showed the video, but I want to spend a few minutes to just talk about today. Today. The entire world, those who are believers and who are non-believers, are recognizing that fatherhood is an important role in the society. And uh, we, as children of the Most High God, recognize that our Lord God Almighty is the father of all fathers. But also as a church, we have a father figure in this house. We have someone who we pour all our burden upon. Uh, we have someone who we can go to as a church, as a ministry, to just you know, cry out to pour our hearts onto, and that is in the person of no one else but Pastor Gandhi Olaoye. Let us celebrate this great man of God. I'm sure we can do better than that. I'll say that again. In honor to God, let us celebrate this great man of God. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're celebrating the grace and the anointing of God upon his life. He has been there as a father figure for this church for over two decades and still counting. And God has given him the grace to continue this work. God bless you. Thank you so much. Please have your seats. The truth is that it's not easy to be a father over thousands of people. And uh, somehow God has given him the grace for that. And I just want to just use this opportunity to encourage us to just remember him in our prayers and remember him in kind today as we celebrate Father's Day. So, uh, as you, uh, we're not taking an offering. I would just like to encourage you, reach out to him, say happy Father's Day, reach out to him, and be a blessing unto him. The truth is that God is the one who rewards anyone who serves him. But isn't it encouraging for someone who has poured of his life to us, invested in us for us to find the time to also be a blessing unto him. So, I'd like to just encourage the church uh, today, Father's Day, please Remember Pastor Gandhi and um, just be a blessing unto him. Would you join me in doing that? Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. At this time, we're going to bring back again to the podium those fathers who find time during the week to come and rehearse, to come and practice, to come and lead us into the presence of God. 
And those are nobody but the men of praise of Jesus House DC. So with a clap offering to the Lord, let us welcome these wonderful fathers who find the time during the week to rehearse so that they can lead us into the presence of the Most High God, the Father of all fathers. Church, let's celebrate the men of praise. Praise the Lord. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers in the house. Our song this, uh, this afternoon now um, is very simple. Um, we actually want you to join us to celebrate. You know, the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 4, it says rejoice. Rejoice. And Paul said, and again I say rejoice. You know, it, no matter what you're going through, God wants to see how you handle yourself in your challenges. And that's why we have instructions. Because when you, when, you, when you go down to verse 6, it says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, should make your requests known unto God. And the peace of God that passes all understanding will guard your heart. He didn't tell you you'll hear the answer to your prayer immediately, but he says the peace of God that passes all human understanding, meaning while you're going through it, you will be at peace. So we want you to join us this afternoon in rejoicing.
for the men of praise for that wonderful ministration. I want to say happy Father's Day to every father that is here. Happy Father's Day to all of you. Please, uh, we want uh, all the ladies to rise and walk up to the men and wish them happy Father's Day, please. Amen. Let's go. Let's go and wish them happy Father's Day. Amen. Make sure you greet someone. You greet a guy. Make sure you greet them. And say happy Father's Day to them. Make sure you greet them and you say happy Father's Day to them. Happy Father's Day. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah, because it's not easy to be a father. Amen. Because it's not easy to be a father. Amen. You know, I want to say one or two things that, you know, there's at times when they say, some people are absentee father. I said absentee father really is even an oxymoron. Because how can you be a father and be absent? And I think it's, it came out of people trying to be politically correct. Because absentee father just simply means an irresponsible father. That's what it means, just irresponsible. Because you cannot be a father and be absent. And um, what I want to say is that fathers, maybe I should put it like this, like I said in the earlier services. Me as a person, as Gandhi, I have the tendency and the affinity to do the wrong thing. The only reason that puts boundary on me and makes me do the right thing is because I'm a, father, I'm a pastor. And so my natural tendency is to misbehave. That's my natural tendency. But because I'm a pastor, I have no other choice than to behave responsibly. That's the truth. I'm not giving an, I'm telling you a statement of fact. And so it behoves every father that because you are a father, you have 